Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owase Mitoy and welcome to Teacher Self Test Automation. Right? In the last video, we've, um, we've uh, successfully run our first uh, test case and we've extended our class into page object class, right? Which brings us more um, methods, right? Which gives us more control in writing our test cases, right? So, what we've written with so far here, right? So driver.find, this is Selenium, right? It's Selenium. So if we just copy that out and see with finding web elements in Selenium, right? We have two methods, right? So if you write driver.find, all right? This is Selenium. You have two methods the, uh, how you find uh, elements in Selenium, right? So find by, so you can use your locators. So the same locators are used in finding web elements in Selenium and same locators used in finding um, web elements in Serenity, right? So same locator strategy, right? So find by name, find by ID, find by uh, CSS, find by um, XPath. CSS selector, find by XPath. So those are common to Serenity, Serenity and Selenium, right? But the methods are different, right? So with Selenium, you have two methods, which is find by, uh, find element by, or find elements, so plural elements. So find element will bring one element, will return one um, web element, and find elements would return multiple uh, elements right now if you swap back to serenity so with serenity you you will go by the, the instance will be find right sorry find find by dot so with serenity you start with a find by right and with Serenity, we have four methods, right? Four methods. Just now we'll see two methods, right? Two methods. I'll, I'll display two methods. And with Serenity, the web element that's returned, or the object, the web object that's returned is called web element facet. Whereas with Selenium, it's a web element object that's returned, right? So that's the web object you find, web element object you find on Serenity, and web object web element facet you find with a um, serenity right? so let's just do some quick um work around with a uh, serenity right so as you can see if we take this out what we've been trying to do here is we have gone to the google um, page right google search page and we've entered some text into the google search Field, right we will quickly run that so you see what I mean run that hopefully it runs pretty quick and now we know this is selenium right selenium and we'll write uh, some lines of code for serenity and that which explain the difference right so this should open the um, Google search search screen and some text we get into the Google search box, right? And there you have it, right? It's taking a while to close, right? And there you have it, right? So that is your Selenium code with a Serenity framework, right? Selenium code, Selen Serenity framework, and a J unit, and J unit, right? So if we comment this out, right, and we try and write um, a, some Serenity code, right? So with Serenity, there's also one one um, one way you could write your 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 method, right? So you could start with a you start with a, a dollar symbol, right? And then you you can add in your locators, right? So you Google by dot, and we can find by 
So we find name, so we'll go with name, right? And we know for this uh, Google uh, search screen, well, search box, the name is Q, right? Now, with this piece of code, we've been able to locate, right? So all of this bit, driver, driver dot find element has been replaced by just this dollar sign, right? For that serenity, it gives you the power to replace all that code with just a dollar sign, right? And we're still finding finding it by name. So finding that um, Google search box by name, right? And the object that is returned is called a web element facet, right? Web element facet. So if we do web element facet, right? Web element facet, and we'll, we'll, call, we'll call this web element facet we are trying to return. We call the web, the object a, say search, search box okay equals now that's also now a uh, highlighted our web element facet so our web element has been returned which is we've identified using uh, the name locator right and that's our search box on the google right so now what we could do is we have to say search to get all our methods on that the the web element we just web element passive we've just identified right so dot now see look at all the methods that the web element facet ha brings to your disposal right there's so many here right and i want to introduce you to one thing right so normally with um selenium right you just write a uh, send keys right but with a with web element facet you also have a new method called type 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 keys to send right that's a new one right types type keys to send and that is by as you see here web element facet right so if we double click that and then we'll just do our double columns and then we'll replace and say the boy was here right and then we'll close this by our columns, right? And then if you run that, and see what happens, right? So here we've written a totally different kind of code and we've introduced web element passes, which introduces more methods, right? And you've seen one example of a, a new method, right? Which differs from that from a Selenium, right? So let's see if this works same result right same result they have used serenity here now right instead of selenium to write this piece of code which is your web element facet opened come on right here boom boy was here manage annotation opens and closes the browser right so there you go. Let's see if it passes, right? Well, it did pass because it says it's passed, right? So if we open this, right? Serenity case used a web element facet. There's another couple of examples I could show you, right? Um, but for now, I've shown you what uh, well, I've introduced you to a web element facet. Um, also, we know um, with Serenity you have two two methods, right? So that's find a element and find elements, right? And with um, Serenity, we have four me uh, four methods that you could use, right? So there's a find by. So if we comment this out, you can use find by. Comment this out, and I could show you find by as well. If you've not seen it already. So if you go find, same thing, by, and then dot and all your locators right so you can say id and you could do the same thing we've just done right so we could say uh do name again right oh it's not id right you do name find by name right and it's q it's q this time right and just close that with our 
Okay. And then we know we are returning a web element pass it, right? Same thing again. So I will just copy this bit here. Save me writing it up, right? So we know we are returning a web element pass it. I want to call it the same thing, right? Let's just call it the same thing, right? Uh, so there need to be an equal here, equals to. Now we've identified our web element pass it as the search box of the Google. And we want to send some um, send some text into that field, right? So all we need to type again is the same thing: search box, right? Search box dot. Now, uh, if we enter type, so we know we know we enter type and send again, right? And what do we want to send? Let's just send again the same kind of text, right? So the Boy was here, right? And let's run this again. See, we're still running with JUnit, right? So this this video has gone a little bit long, but we have done two types of uh, Serenity uh, methods, right? So the find by method and the dollar sign. The dollar sign now you can use for Serenity um, CSS selector or expert, right? Hmm, that looks like a field there, right? Because we did not close with our semicolons, right? So that will fail. Sorry. So let's just run that again. I was talking too much and I forgot about that. Right, let's just run that again. So I was able just to quickly debug that, right? <laughs> That's what happens when you practice, 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 right? So don't forget to practice. So test started, the browser will launch soon. Has the browser launched? So why it's Chrome is because in our properties files, we already, would, uh, in our Serenity properties file, serenity.properties file, we already have Chrome, Chrome browser, um, as our default, okay, set as our default. Right, so that passed, right? So if you don't understand what has, has just gone and transpired, right, just watch the video over and over again, like you, you get it, it's, it's simple and straightforward, right? My name is Kevin Owasu, what's the difference between a, a web element and web element facet? Web element is for same selenium web element facet is for serenity right web element a uh, web element with selenium has only two methods find and find element and find elements right whereas um serenity serenity has four methods right they are about three kind of find methods and one dollar sign that you could use to locate with a uh, locate elements with expert or CSS. Okay, so my name is Kevin Owasu Itoy. Probably should write this down and probably in a blog, right? So I'll put this down in a blog somewhere. Maybe drop the, the link um, down there. So my name is Kevin Owasu Itoy and I'm signing out. Stay blessed. Remember, empower yourself through self directed education, right? It doesn't have to be testing, it doesn't have to be IT, it could be anything, it could be. Just get yourself to another level where you could do more for your family. Okay. Thank you.